In today's video, we'll be comparing packing cubes with compression packing cubes and with vacuum seal bags to see which packing tool is going to be best for your next trip. Let's kick things off with the classic packing cube. Packing cubes are reusable fabric containers that are intended to fit inside of larger suitcases and backpacks. They can make packing and unpacking easier, as well as keep your belongings organized while on the go. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, as well as colors, and will typically feature a zippered closure. Packing cubes can apparently also keep your clothing from wrinkling. I have personally not found this benefit to be true, and I do not find that a packing cube keeps my clothing more wrinkle-free or less wrinkle-free, in comparison to placing the clothing directly in a suitcase. I've always traveled with packing cubes since they help me to organize, compress, and separate clothing inside of a suitcase. Packing cubes will also keep your belongings concealed if your bag is searched and unpacked by a TSA officer while you are going through airport security. Packing cubes can be annoying if you don't have a packing system, such as putting all of your gym clothes in one or all of your t-shirts in another, or if you do not label the packing cube and you do not know what is in which cube. You'll find a guide down in the description that you can download for free that is going to give you ideas of different packing methods that you can try to best organize your suitcase for travel. The next packing tool, compression packing cubes, are very similar to classic packing cubes, but they have an extra zipper that is going to allow you to compress your belongings within the cube. The additional compression allows you to fit more belongings in your luggage, which is extra helpful for a long trip or a trip that requires warm weather clothing. Compression cubes are going to help you pack more, but they are not going to cut down on the weight of whatever the heck you are packing. But just because you can pack more items doesn't mean you should, as it may put you over your carry-on or your checked baggage weight limit. Packing more than you need can also add stress during your trip, especially if you are moving around from place to place and frequently needing to pack and unpack. The added compression feature also does come with a higher chance of your clothing winding up creased and wrinkled. And if your items do end up wrinkled, whether it's from one of these compression cubes or not, you can consider traveling with some wrinkle release spray, as well as hanging your clothing items in the bathroom while you take a hot shower. The steam is going to help release those creases and wrinkles. Vacuum seal bags that are made specifically for travel are another item that travelers will swear by. I am not one of those travelers. Vacuum seal bags are plastic bags that are designed to compress clothing together as well as other soft items by removing the air from the bag. You can buy ones that are specifically designed for travel that can be compressed by rolling or pressing on them without the need for an actual vacuum or hand pump to suck the air out. These bags are going to give you the most space-saving benefits by tightly compressing your clothing while also protecting your clothing from moisture, dirt, and odors. The clear plastic exterior can be an advantage as you know what is in each bag, but it can also be a disadvantage as everyone else knows what is in each bag as well. The plastic material tends to be heavier than fabric cubes and is going to add weight to your suitcase. These vacuum seal bags are also less user-friendly, especially if you're moving around during your travels. The high level of compression is also going to leave your clothing deeply wrinkled and creased, much more so than if you are using a packing cube or a compression packing cube. While the level of compression is impressive, I personally find these a hassle to use and dislike that they encourage overpacking, putting you at risk of exceeding the weight limit allowed by airlines. No. So vacuum seal bags are going to save the most amount of space, but they are the least user-friendly. And classic packing cubes are going to be the most user-friendly, but they are going to save you the least amount of space. And then compression packing cubes are going to give you all of the organizational benefits of regular packing cubes, while being slightly less user-friendly since their ability to compress your belongings may leave your clothing creased and it tends to be a little more difficult to pull things in and out simply because you can cram more things in there. What makes this an easy decision for me is that compression packing cubes can be used exactly like regular packing cubes if you decide not to use the extra zipper. And often I don't need the extra zipper to add that layer of compression, but it is nice to have in situations where I do need it. 
Let us know down in the comments if you will be using packing cubes, compression packing cubes, vacuum seal bags, or none of the above on your next trip. If you are considering compression packing cubes, you'll definitely want to check out the travel YouTube channel, Away Together. Nick created a comprehensive video comparing the top compression packing cubes available to purchase on Amazon. There's a link in the description for you to check out that video next. Thank you so much for watching, and I also hope you'll consider subscribing to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye.